friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Art Tube. I'm Kayla. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so happy to have you join me for a visit today. I'm honored that you would click on my video to spend some time with me. So today I am going to work on, start working on a hat. Okay, I am wanting cotton hats. And so um, I found that I had this Karen cotton painterly cakes this is um a karen cotton cake called painterly cakes okay let me see if i can read some information about it it is called vanilla wafers it's really pretty it's some off-white um some muted pink muted yellow an off-white again and it just kind of wrote goes through that cycle maybe not completely in order again but Anyway, I just thought it was um, a pretty color when I had picked it up. So this is 400 and I believe that's 81 yards. <laughs> I believe it says 81 yards. Come to find out, I don't even have all my lights on. There, let me see if that helps any. <laughs> I do believe it says 481 yards. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm also working on projects to enter into my fair, which is coming the first week of October. And so there's categories for knitted hats, crochet hats, and so I wanted to make a knitted hat. But also, I'm wanting some cotton hats because um, the infusion that I took just a couple weeks ago it does make your hair fall out like a lot and so I see that I had that infusion six months ago I had two infusions back to back it made my hair super super thin and it all fell out I mean not every bit of it but it fell out and just changed my whole hairstyle <laughs> and so I took the fusions two back to back a few weeks ago and it's already starting to do the same thing so I wanted to make some hats this loom is a sendwood loom and let me be honest with you I haven't used looms in a long time and so I'm out of the familiar I'm not familiar with all the looms and stuff that's out there nowadays there's lots of stuff but I did look up the information on this loom so that I could tell you guys about it if anyone was interested this is a send wood loom c-i-n-d wood it's one word c-i-n-d w-o-o-d loom their website is called send one looms Wait, sendwoodlooms.com. And I will try my best to remember to link that below. But anyway, this is a 48 peg adult knitting loom to make a hat. I'm going to make a hat with it. Um, it does come with a little, like a thumb net, thumbtack thing right here. I have obviously lost mine and I do not have a thumbtack in the house. So I am, and what you would do is make a slip knot and put on that. So since I don't have that, um, I'm just going to lay my yarn across this like this and just kind of wrap it a couple of times. And that's probably not enough, but I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of yarn. Let me see. I don't think that's enough to wrap it and make it whole, but this, this would work. And like I said, I haven't loom knitted in a while, and so I'm kind of, kind of feel new at it again. <laughs> no, that's not the way I want it. Um, hold on a second. Since I don't have that, I want... What I would normally do is make a slip knot here and then go behind that peg. So I want my working yarn coming from the front. Maybe that's the way I had it. I'm not sure. <laughs> like I said, I'm familiarizing myself with it 
all over again. So here, let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is e-wrap all the way around all my pegs. And so that just means you're, you're coming from behind the peg, you come up around the front of the peg, and you just... Um, you just circle around the peg and then you go the next peg circle around it and you just do that all the way around and you're coming from behind the peg now I'm gonna have to lay it down I can't pick it up and hold it like I used to since I lost so many fingers so I am just coming from behind and wrapping around and this is called an e-wrap So, I don't think I will finish the whole cat in this video. Well, I know I'm not. <laughs> it takes a while to knit a hat. Um, it does. And so, this will be over a few videos. But I'm going to get started on it and tell you what I'm doing for this video. And then I'll have a part two and so forth. So I'm just wrapping around. Yesterday, guys, we got rain. I was so happy to see it rain. <laughs> it was nice to have that rain come through. And it rained for quite a while. It didn't storm, but it was just a good slow rain for a couple of hours. And we needed that. Our ground was so dry and it was so hot here. Most people can just do like this and go around it, but since I have these issues, um, you know, I'm having to use two hands and to make it work, and it's working, so I'm doing good. I do have the little thing that goes on the yarn to do all that, but that would be a hindrance for me at this time, so this is what's going to work for me. Some people like using those. I never work, was crazy about them, even when I was loom knitting before. But some people like that, and it works good for them. So, I'm just mashing this down a little bit. Not all the way to the bottom, because it's not necessary. But just, um, just giving me some workspace above it. Now, I pre-marked my loom. Because I'm going to, well, this row I'm going to knit, a U knit, because um, I'm still in the cast on. But once I start making the hat, I'm going to be using um, U knits, pearls, E wraps. We'll see. I haven't really decided just yet, but I think I will be using E wraps and. Um, maybe some pearls, especially for the brim. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to bring my... Okay, what I was saying is I pre-marked mine. I have a dot every other one. So every time I see a dot, I'm going to unit. And every time there's nothing, I'm going to pearl. So on this, I'm going to bring my yarn in front of the peg and kind of pull it back a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this bottom loop up over the top loop and over the top of the peg. And so I'm going to do that all the way around for my cast on. So I'm not really working on the brim yet. I'm just getting my um, cotton yarn to cast on. I went to an event about a week ago, and there was some, some booths that had some crochet stuff, and so I did look at their crochet stuff and their prices, and, um, you know, was just kind of looking to see what people were making and how much they were selling it for. But one booth had some hats 
that were very, very holy and lots of air could go through. She made them out of acrylic, but they were very vented, I guess you would say. Lots of holes. It looked like she might have like um, did a crochet stitch, chain some, crochet stitch, chain some. I'm not really sure. And it was so many people there, I couldn't just stop and look because people were trying to push through and it was just a lot going on in there <laughs> um so i didn't i couldn't just sit and look at it for a long period of time but anyway um so i don't know how it was made i believe it was crochets and chains but like i said it was lots of gaps it wasn't a tight hat it was very like a slouchy hat but it was also, you know, the stitches were not tight. It was lots of chains in there. So if you know what I'm talking about and you know this hat pattern, please let me know below because I would like to make a couple hats like that um, for myself to have some hat options as I, you know, feel like I might need a hat. <laughs> So I am interested in that. Well, oh, trying to. Anyway. Just thought it would be good to have some of those kind of hats for while it is hot. And those, this lady had made hers out of acrylic. And um, they, were, they were very cute hats. And I think they were like. I, can't, I think they were 15 a piece at her booth. Now, some people had crochet hats for like 40 bucks each. I mean, the prices really ranged. It was a wide range of prices. I think this lady's was 15 and that's the cheapest I saw about of anything. And I might have even would have bought one, except... Um, People were trying to get by. It was so many people in there. It was so crowded. And they were behind us kind of put, trying to push through, which was trying, which was actually pushing us forward. And I just went on. But anyway. Ugh. So I am having a little difficulty. And it's going to be slow for me. You know, used to, I could loom knit um, at one time when the, when the messy bun hats were popular, I could loom knit seven hats a day because I was selling them that fast. And so um, now it would, it's probably going to take me a few days because <laughs> it is a struggle. It is a struggle. Yeah. So if you do know of that crochet hat that's real gappy and um, please, you know, tell me about that in the co comment section below this video. So I'll know. Uh, this, I don't know. This is kind of painful putting a lot of strain on my hand here trying to um, trying to lift this up and get it going yeah. so it is Saturday so tell me what you're up to this weekend what do you have going on um, are you staying home and, and, and staying cool <laughs> are you out um, running around town or you just you have projects you're working on tell me what's going on guys Ugh. Mm. i don't know about all this <laughs> honestly oh that that's painful that hurts But I'm going to keep at it and try to do this. I'm 
trying not to hold that yarn so tight on here too because I don't want the next row to be super tight so I'm trying to hold it loosely so that it does make looser loops when I go around the second time let me see So, have any of you guys tried loom knitting? What was your experience with that? I used to loom knit exclusively when I started this channel. I was a loom knitter. And then I learned to crochet, which was much faster. And uh, um just I enjoyed the fastness of crocheting and just being able to whip out projects <laughs> really quickly but I was pretty fast on the loom back then but you know I had way more fingers and if you're new here and you don't know and you're like well why don't you have fingers um, I have Reynolds and scleroderma and so, over the years, um, Reynolds has took my fingers. So, that's why. And I don't mind questions about that. Um, I'm not sensitive to that. It's, it's you know, ooh. man. don't know I don't I really just I'm kind of unsure right now if I'm gonna be able to do this but I'm gonna keep trying for a little while if it gets really bad I'm probably just gonna scrap this because it's it's no use in doing something that's so painful Ugh, I hate that I do have a knitting machine, like an Addy knitting machine, but that's not the kind of hat I want. Um, I wouldn't wear a hat made on that in the summertime. I'm looking for, you know, something different, light. <laughs> um, and on this, I could make it very holy if I wanted to. And on a knitting machine, you just don't have that option. It would be more like a winter hat. And I'm wanting to um, have some summer hats. So that wouldn't help me in this. I think it would be, I think actually it would be easier for me to crochet a hat than to use this loom. I think so. Okay. <laughs> Oh, now all I've done is cast on. I hadn't even started the brim yet. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'm really contemplating whether I'm going to do this or not. To, just to be honest with you. I'm going to give it a little bit of a go. Right now I'm flexing these fingers as if I'm bending them up. So I'm trying to flex that to smooth out that muscle some because it is really hurting. So on this I'm going to knit you you knit and then I was gonna to try to purl on the pegs that I don't have marked Uh, 
uh, and then to purl, you actually pull your yarn down kind of in front of it like this, and then you go down and pull that yarn up through that loop. And then pull this off the peg and put your new loop on the peg. So that's what I'm going to do all the way around. Ugh. <laughs> like I said, guys, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to continue to work on this or not. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and give my hands a break. And I'm just going to leave this on my desk, and as I'm sitting here doing other stuff, I'll try to do a few pegs and see, but if it's just too painful, it's too painful. There's nothing I can do about that. So, I think it would really be easier... To try to crochet this hat. <laughs> uh. Let me see. This is painfully slow and painful itself. Know what that's all about that didn't work out uh, okay guys this is is it gonna work <laughs> all right I, i'm just gonna call this a fail it's it's too painful on my hands and there's no sense in doing something that's gonna cause so much pain that doesn't even make sense so, I'm going to take this off and rest my hand. I'm going to rest my hand before I even take it off. <laughs> and I'm going to try to crochet a hat with this cotton yarn and see how that works out for me. Thanks for watching. You know, I could not put this video up and you would never know I failed at it. But I have so many people saying, why don't you go back to loom knitting? Well, I tried. <laughs> scratch that okay i'm probably going to go through my looms and maybe box some up and put on etsy and see if i can just rehome them at discounted prices um for someone who does loom knit so that's probably what i'll end up doing thank you guys for watching i appreciate you being here and just supporting me along you know trying to find things that i can do with my new hands <laughs> i lost this finger in march and it has changed my life And so I am in the process of trying to find 